YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm gonna to do another really quick video on the flannels. So you might remember last week, I put a video out about flannels, it's flannel season. And in that video, I went over two of the flannels, which I love and I've been wearing for the last few years that were from the Flathead. And I also did one from UES, which was the extra heavy UES flannel. Now in that video last week from the Flathead, I mentioned that the Flathead had stopped production and they've been yeah, out of production for about two years now uh, and that they were looking to get it back into production and then lo and behold three days after i posted that video the flathead announced they're back into production now by releasing two new flannels so i thought i'd just pop, pop this video in to sort of uh, let you guys know that the flannels that i spoke about last week are back into production you can buy them now and I thought I'd let you know now because they will probably sell out in the next coming weeks and months. So they have released a red one, kind of like the red one that I showed you last week, but they also released one that they're calling blue, but it's actually a teal kind of color. And the reason I say that is I've got the old ones here. This is the old blue one. And this is the new one that is teal. Um, so there is a, a noticeable difference there. And I'll, I'll run you through the differences real quick. As you might remember, I had the red one as well. So the red one uh, from Flathead now is the same kind of red. So I won't really cover this one, but you can check them out online. Um, as I always mentioned at Rivet and Hyde and all the retailers and also Flathead's own website has that information. But if we go over the old one versus this new one now, it comes with its own Flathead labeling as you will notice. But the big thing you will notice is there's no Flathead labeling on the pocket. So the old one, you'll notice the flathead always had the flathead logo on the pockets there. Um, and then the, the labels changed depending on what kind of line they were running at the time. Um, and that's changed again, where you have a new kind of uh, label there. So it, let me just open this up. So opening it up, I'll just throw it on for you and just take you through some of the subtle differences that I noticed. So to make you guys aware, if you're gonna go and purchase one either in store or online. Now, the the big the big big thing for me was the sizing so i'm a 42 in everything 42 in these old ones uh and and I, as i mentioned before the 42 will fit really nicely the flathead had a tendency to have a really short kind of sleeve so it came up over my wrist a bit and whereas other like the ues one for example goes a bit further goes over my wrist and feels a little bit longer but still fits in the body uh, whereas the flathead ones were short in the sleeve still fits perfectly in the body now I went to Riveton High today to try this one on. I tried a 42 straight away and noticed a difference. It is bigger all around uh, and the, the, the sleeves were longer. The guys told me there's not much that they know of that has changed, but it's clear that the sizing has definitely changed. So if you're definitely gonna buy one of these online or in person, try them on, make sure you sure about your sizing they are already pre-washed so they won't shrink so the size you buy will probably be the size it stays at now for this reason i had to buy a 40 so i'm a 42 and everything else and i'm a 40 in this so the 42 in these new ones was really baggy around the back and as i said the sleeves were longer and it just didn't look right uh, as soon as i put the 40 on the guys even said it looks better so i went with the 40. so if you're definitely gonna buy one try it on maybe take one size down that you usually take uh, depending on how you like your sizing but it was definitely too baggy for me around there talking about the the subtle changes as i mentioned there's no pocket uh, stitching here for the labeling uh, the big notice the big thing i noticed as well was this chin strap here the guy said nothing much has really changed but it's clear that the chin strap has if i get the old one you'll see there's also a chin strap on this one but it is sort of integrated into the button lining there whereas this one sticks further out you can see there's a massive difference there so difference in the styling with that uh, if i just put that back down you'll notice the brushed on the inside as well uh, the brushing on this one actually goes extends all the way over to the um, the button area there whereas the old one the, the brushing stops for the buttons there's a seam and then uh, there's just the normal fabric, the outside fabric from the inside as well of the button. That's the old one, but the new one has the brush lining all the way to the end. Uh, it's a fully fell seamed construction as well. So it's quite uh, strong, in, uh, it's quite strong and uh, sturdy. Uh, it's got the uh, cat's eyes or urea buttons, I believe they're called. If I just do it up as well. Now the guys told me uh, at Rivet and Hyde that the weight and the fabric is pretty much identical same looms same fabric but i just i'm not sure about it yet the fabric on the older ones feels just that tad bit heavier 
Overall, the garment feels heavier as well on the old ones. This straight away when I put it on, maybe it's because I tried the 42 on first. I'm not sure. It just feel feels a little bit thinner. I think it's 12 ounce. I don't know what the old ones were, um, but it just feels a little bit thinner. Not it's, it's majorly not an issue. It's fine. I just you know um, I don't think they're like for like if that makes sense. Uh, the brushing is really really soft on these new ones as well and I don't, I don't know if these fabrics are different because these are you know eight and five years old and they've been washed a handful of times a lot of times and this is uh, brand new um, but you know it does feel a bit lighter but the, the brushing does feel really really warm uh, and inviting I guess but as I said the biggest thing was the uh, the sizing so you know Rivet and Hyde sell these online and in store, so either in Ma Manchester or London. Um, you can get them from the Flathead website as well. And uh, I haven't actually looked at where else, but I'm sure Self Edge and, and all the other international retailers will be selling them as well. Um, so I would highly recommend, you know, trying it on. Maybe if you're buying online, buying two sizes, trying them both, sending one back if you can do that. Uh, because I don't want you to follow my videos and, and go and get a 42 if you're a 42 and, and, and you're not. But So definitely try it on. But other than that, you know, it's a lovely addition. The color is beautiful. I really like the darker color ones as well. And as I said, you know, the, the subtle differences are, you know, the chin strap, as I mentioned, the chin strap here. You can see this, the differences, one's integrated and one's uh, sort of sticks out a bit. The brush lining of the new one goes right to the end of the buttons, whereas the old one, it sort of stops there and then it's got the normal outside fabric where the buttons are. Uh, you haven't got the integrated, uh, the stitched on, um, flathead stitching there, which is fine. I love that. I prefer you know, garments that don't have anything on them. The new one has, uh, where the chin strap is, so there's two buttons, that's probably why it extends out, there's two buttons on the chin strap area here, and the old one only has the one, so you can see that there, so there is differences with that. Pattern's the same, it's a block, the block pattern. Buttons appear, oh no, the buttons are slightly different, the cat size buttons on this one, the Urea ones, the old one just has the normal four pointed buttons, I don't know what you call them, but they're there. As I said, uh, fully filled, seam construction, one wash, so won't shrink, and there's really not much else I can say about that, to be honest. Beautiful beautiful uh, flannel to get. Uh, so I've added this one to my collection. So now I have uh, three from the flathead. It's probably a bit excessive, but you know, these two have stood the test of time. And as I said in these videos, I'm only gonna be getting garments that are gonna last me six, seven, eight years. And that leads me to the price. So the price, you know, they're not cheap. Uh, 235 British pounds. It's a lot of money, I know, for, for the something. But if you think about how long the other ones have lasted me, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight years, and they're around probably around the same price when I bought them, I don't know. Think of that value for money. So it's hard up front to, to, to purchase something like this, but when you know you're getting something that's gonna last for that long, if you worked it out per year, that's just, that's so cheap. On the whole, price here up front, gonna last you a long time and guarantee on that. If you go into Rivet and Hyde, uh, be aware of the pricing, but also, uh, these are flying out the door. Uh, as I was there getting this one, there was one on the table going out on an internet order. Uh, the guy said that they have been inundated with people uh, looking for these. They said that uh, some of you guys have gone in and bought them and saying you've seen it on a YouTube video. So thank you if that's you guys. Uh, but it, you know, if you go in there and say, say the guy, see the guys, say hi, tell them that you saw the video on YouTube and, um, and, and yeah. And with that being said, guys, I think I'll leave it at that. It's only a real short video just to give you an update. The Flathead is back. They've got some flannels. Uh, there's probably more coming. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. It is really good to know that you guys are liking the videos and going into the stores and telling the guys that you've seen them. Uh, that's probably, you know, what I wanted to get out of this, these uh, videos is to sort of show you clothes, give you sort of my tips on uh, when I wear them, because when I was looking to buy these stuff years ago, um, there was no nothing like this around. So if you enjoy that, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. I'd like to know that you uh, are enjoying them. And if you wanna see something else uh, kind of content wise, I think I'm done with Flathead now. So uh, that's about it. But otherwise we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.